It's that time of year again. Time to get started. Million dollar question. Will it run? Or even start? <laughs> setup so there's not a lot on it returning this year we have the harbor freight tools trailer i got this in 2019 it's a 2019 model still holding up pretty darn good you don't need a big trailer fellas and ladies to have a uh, la landscape operation rig also back this year we'll get this out of the way is the time cutter to my dismay so I have just written this engine off as being old and tired. I mean, it's a 2004. We're now in 2024, so this is a 20-year-old mower. Uh, I don't know if I'm going to bother to rebuild the engine. It is a Briggs & Stratton. Or I'm thinking maybe even replacing the engine, but I don't even know if I want to bother doing that. It really, I just need to get a new mower. I mean, this deck has seen, let's go over here, has seen a really better days. So... I don't think we're gonna go with the time cutter. I did get the have not been put on yet, but I did get the the, the wheel wells taken care of. All those supports. We're rocking the uh, Menards ramps, the foldable ramps again. I have yet to crack out a back lens on it, which I guess is a good thing. But let's get to what you really want to see: the new stuff. So we got the brand new shirt can well actually i think that's the brand new shirt can this one's maybe a year old but i got a new shirt can it's just I probably won't be using it the new one i got using the old one uh, i use a two gallon can and the reason why is because my tank holds two gallons that'll last me almost a week so when i fill it up it literally is like i'm filling up in the field and emptying the can and then just refilling the can and that kind of thing and i got plenty to refill it with so you might also notice I don't have a two-cycle can, and that's because, well, I don't use two-cycle equipment. Well, not fully. I use the battery equipment. So we have the Echo DP2500, the special edition pink blower that I want to equip last year. And also this year we have the D-Pass 2100. Now I did get this from Echo as a thank you for being a part of the Echo Means Business the uh, user advisory group so you know that's where that came from but ultimately we're not rocking the ryobis the ryobi the weed whips kind of went down uh, i still have the ryobi blower that that works great but it's a lot more power than i really need so we are using we we have fully switched over to echo this was a system i really wanted to switch over from from ryobi was the echo system i really like how their batteries run and the deep pass 2100 this is the homeowner unit i do like having the split shaft and for days like well today where it's out where i'm outside and it's raining and i can actually take this off this ended up in the back of my truck with all the nasty grass and everything on it and this ended up in the back of the the cab i have a quad cab so this ended up in the back of the quad cab with the blower so all of the electronics are nice and dry and stay that way so that's one of the reasons why i really like the have the split shaft units and i'm going with the pass unit as opposed to just a standard weed whip is because of the battery now this has a five amp battery on it one of the things I'm sure Echo will love for me to tell you is these, this particular unit is not supposed to run the 5 amp battery. And the reason why is because of balance. That's the only reason why is they, the balance is kind of off because this is the smaller unit. The larger unit comes with the 5 amp battery. That's supposed to run with the 5 amp battery. The balance is really good with it. This is the smaller unit. It does the, it does the job I did. Took it out there. Everything worked very well uh, except for the time cutter but that's a whole other issue anyways so we got to get everything dried up and 
yeah that is this year's 2024 mowing setup at least in the beginning of the season so i guess i'll see you next time